Now let's look more into the design. So we can use um, progress bar to show in progress or something. I'm just going to make a funny fake one for now. Let's take it at the bottom of your application or whatever you choose. Stupid me, you have the dark option on here and just select the button. Then you add a dark straight and you can change the size upwards and so well, we just leave it like this. Okay now let's make a timer, add it, make a label that you can set to I'm just going to go here and set this to ten. Okay, so inside here you can just simply type anything you want, any value. I'm just going to set percent. That was wrong spelled. Wow. I'm in the wrong place. Well, then you're just going to set whatever value. And then you can use another link label. It may look a bit nicer, I think, for a value to indicate something, but you can use a value and change the text, label, text box. Now, label to just you know, see easy change the colors and so. Now it is set is to zero percent. Okay, or maybe not. We're just going to use a label and zero percent. Happy ending. There now. Now let's go into creating a button just so and set the interval time and the timer to something more proper we just set it to 50 and just click and timer timer on start go back here or if you just I'll click it the timer and then you can progress bar oh, progress bar 1 increase and you set it a value to increase with 1 we say and then we can just do like this and you can see it's starting, it's increasing okay so now we also want to do this so then we just label for text equals then we are going to set the progress bar progress bar value plus a space and a percent sign now let's try again in debug and press it and I did a mistake of course uh, because you had to set it to string you had to use the call as you see it's increasing so remember to set the value to string because it's an integer. So now it's 100% and done. That's implied you can create and progress bar is to read from it. You can also do the progress bar in another way. By simply doing this, we're just going to disable the timer and progress. Well, progress bar and update. But first we are going to go, I think it was step. I uh, can't remember everything. I think it was. Yeah, we said just step. Step equaling how many per how much you want to increase it. We just set it to ten, and then you can set like progress progress bar and update. I think it was unless I grown all by the time I have. Well, I found it is a performed step. Of course it is. So now you can try and debug and when you see it's increasing the value to with 10 each time you press it. So now it's done. I press it 9 times or 10 times. That's a error. 
But now this is wrong, so then we just would have to copy and paste it, fix it, and so on. This is also a way you can create by using the progress bar and step equaling how much you increase. And you can set it anywhere you want, I think it was. I think I could just set it like here, I think. No, you can't, but, well, you can. So I'm about that, but you can set it anywhere you want. And it will increase the value by the step. So simply about that.